you tell us a bit about how did you come up with the idea of Good Man? Well, it started with a dream I had and told Juliana about two women raising um, a baby that was not human. And uh, we discussed uh, the idea of these characters, like what, what they represented about motherhood and about social difference and uh, how to make a fantasy film about issues that were very interesting to us. And uh, it started with this image and then it became a, a full-length fairy tale. What would you say makes it such an unique piece? Because um, some reviews have said along that you didn't want to tell much about the story first, then to people watch it. Uh, yeah, it's a fairy tale that uh, takes place in Sao Paulo and in, in the current days. And uh, in this film we use a lot of uh, elements of narrative and mix it. And uh, we are both uh, horror film fans and musical film fans. And we both like a lot of uh, the Disney animation films. So I think it has a little bit of everything. And it takes place in Brazil and it's a werewolf story. So I think it's a kind of a crazy film. And uh, we don't like to tell much about the story because I think it's good when you go to see a film and you are surprised with what you see. And I think it gives a lot of pleasure to see a film that takes you out of your safe space. And we, that's the uh, reaction a lot of people is having with the film and we are re really happy with it. You both have worked together for such a long time. Um, have you considered taking new steps in new genres, film genres? Well, we have uh, worked together since film school. Did a lot of sh a lot of short films together, uh, and our first feature film, Hard Labor, we did together. It was also shown here in London uh, six years ago. But also, we have a work uh, that we do separate. Juliana has made uh, feature film and short films separate. I have made feature films separate, and uh, the collaboration is something that we enjoy doing because it create it it, it, it challenges us. Um, and uh, it creates films that are very unique and it's not, it's, they are very different from what the, uh, uh, it would be very different if, if we did Good Manners alone, for instance. Our collaboration creates some very specific moods and, uh, and ideas that I think represents only the collaboration. So it's something that we want to keep doing and now we're developing a, a TV series and uh, yes, it's going to go on. Your filmography, there's a pattern, I would say it's the design of the posters and they're all like kind of similar paints. And how, how is this uh, similarities, okay. how does it contribute to the film at the end? You mean our previous work, how it contributed yeah. to the film? Yeah, yeah since uh, our first collaborations we did a lot of short films together and this is our second feature film together. Uh, we always uh, have elements of uh, fantasy in the film. This is the most fantastic film we ever did, but all of the films have uh, fantasy elements and horror elements and uh, sometimes musical elements. So I think in a way it's a progression of what we did before, but it's also a step forward because it's more is a more complex film and a more crazy film than the others. With the cast, how, how did you um, describe the experience with the cast of this, of Good Man? Well, it was very, the cast is always very important and this film was very specific because we worked um, with children and so we learned a lot by working uh, with these children and like we met a lot of children and it was a film with dark subjects so for us was a challenge like how to present them the dark subjects and the horror part of the film and uh, we found out that they could really understand the characters and they were very intelligent and they actually taught us a lot during the process and we also cast two uh, amazing actresses as, as um, the main characters of the film Isabel Zua and Marjorie Estiano and uh, we also met them uh, in auditions and they, uh, they, that magic thing happened that we met them and we were immediately uh, attracted to them and felt that they could bring the character to another dimension, you know, like give it real life. 
so yeah, it was a very pleasure, uh, a big pleasure to work with this, the cast in this film. Okay, this, that's everything. Thank you very much.